that's a look. I'm not sure that's my look. Yeah, I think that's better. Hello, my name is Sarah, and this is Painted Wit. We like to paint everything, including our faces. Today I will be doing my Sephora sale haul. It's a little late, but they came in parts because I ordered several things in several batches. I'm a sucker for a sale. This haul comes to you in three parts. One, things I bought for myself. Two, things I bought for my best friend because it was her birthday. And three, freebies. I love a Sephora sale and I love freebies. And so I bought lots of things at a good price. And then I also got a lot of add-ons um, because why not? So why don't we start with the things that are for my friend? Hannah, if you're watching, stop watching. First thing I got for her was this makeup eraser set that has um, seven, yeah, it's a seven day set and it has um, a rainbow of little magic erasers. Um, I've had one of these. They're a lot of fun, I guess, to take makeup off your face. It does just sort of wipe away. And I thought that she would get some good use out of it. Next is this Laneige Lip Treatment Balm. Um, I do have a Laneige lip sleeping mask that is taking approximately 85 years to use. I do like it. I saw this was coming out and I was very excited, especially because of that whole spatula in the lid thing. Then people said it smelled like coconut, and that is just not my cup of tea. It's Hannah's. So I was like, I'll treat Hannah. And uh, I hope that she likes it. Last thing that I got for Hannah, I'm actually splitting up from a, a kit. Um, I got this Jo Malone Mini Luxuries Collection that has a wood sage and sea salt cologne, a peony and blush suede body cream, and the English pear and freesia scented candle. Such luxurious box. <sighs> Did I buy this for the box? Not, no. We've got the cologne, the body cream, and the candle. Um, I was gonna give Hannah the body cream and the candle. They're a little bit more floral, and uh, that's less to my thing and more Hannah's thing. And then the wood sage and sea salt cologne I was gonna keep for myself because it's a nice middle scent. It's not particularly girly, not particularly masculine. I guess you could call it unisex. I still think, because it's Joe Malone, it's like a mixing scent. So I still think it's a little feminine, um, but I would mix it with some of my more feminine scents to maybe give it a little bit more edge. So that's this guy. Let's move into the freebies and save the good stuff for last, I guess, suppose. So first freebie is this other makeup eraser. It was one of the point perks. I did think that it was going to be full-sized, not gonna lie, and it is, let me show you, tiny, so tiny. But, um, you know, that'll be great for eye makeup. It's fine. It'll go well into my collection of uh, makeup eraser type things that I use to take off my makeup at night. Next, let's move on to the mascara freebies I got. I love high-end mascara. I hate paying for it. I think most high-end mascara is just as good as the drugstore. It maybe has an edge, but I just don't like paying for it. So I get a lot of the freebies and that makes me feel better about it. One of my favorite mascaras is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Um, I do have a full size on the go right now of this, but, and I might have a backup as well, cause Ulta does those half off of that specific mascara um, once or twice a year. And so I get it at half off. So it's $11 and basically drugstore priced and I feel better about it. But I do love a mini. Um, and these are also better for travel, of course. Not that I'm traveling or you're traveling. I'm vaccinated, baby. It's gonna happen soon. The other mascara I got was the Ilia Limitless. Limitless? 
I got a mini of this once before. I really liked how sort of natural it looked. I know today we're not presenting as natural, but I do on occasion wear natural makeup and it's just really lengthening and normally I go for volume, so it's nice to have sort of the option. The comb function is also really nice. If I have gotten a little too clumpy with my regular mascara, this will definitely help with the making it long and less clumpy thing. And the last thing that I got as a freebie was this Fresh Skincare Superstars set. It has the Soy Face Cleanser, which I actually use almost all Face Theory skincare products on my face, but I do enjoy this cleanser and I like to get it in a mini size because I'll throw it in my travel bag. Again, not traveling. But it means that I have sort of a spa experience when I do go away for the weekend because I'm using these different new special products only at those times. Uh, and then it also has the Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. I've used it before as a mini. It's fine. I'm not a rose scenty kind of girl, so I use it and it feels luxurious. I'm just like not wowed by the smell. The cucumber in the other one is a much nicer smell to me. And then there's the black tea age delay eye concentrate i don't buy eye creams but i'm not gonna turn away a free one and i'll use them when i get them in the free kind of sets like this um i have bought an eye cream once in my life and it was from the drugstore and effective no idea and then of course there's the sugar advanced lip therapy balm. Uh, it's just the clear one and it has SPF and or does it? No, this one doesn't have SPF. That's fine. 24 hour moisture. I really like this one. I get minis of fresh lip balms all the time. I get minis of fresh all the time because I enjoy them, but I do prefer to use something that's less scented for my everyday skincare. Oh dear the rest of this box I paid for. That's frightening. Let us start with the not lip products. First, I got the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. I have used up a full of the Milk Makeup um, Hydro Grip like regular primer. I really enjoyed it. Um, I do get minis when I see them, but I wanted to try the spray. I thought with masks it might Having a setting spray, which I don't normally use in my everyday makeup, I thought it could help with the longevity. I, I do my routine in a way that I'm never too concerned about the longevity, but I do use cream blushes, cream highlights, so I just wondered if using something like this would help lock it in. So I got the mini size. So pretty. And um, I'm very excited to use it. I got a few Rare Beauty things. Newer brand, wanted to try them at a discount. So everyone raves about this. Ah! Well, okay, you're ripped now. Uh, this concealer, I think Amanda Z, Amanda Z. I only ever hear Australians and Canadians and British people say her name. So uh, Amanda Z, uh, rave about this brush. Um, it is the Rare Beauty. Oh, it's not on the brush. The Liquid Touch brush. It's supposed to mimic, you know, your finger and um, she uses it, of course, for underneath her eye. I've heard, I think, a few other beauty YouTubers talk about it. Um, I don't often buy super high-end brushes if they're not in a set, but I thought I'd give this one a go. I'm always looking for that, you know, Lisa Eldridge perfect under eye that I can never achieve. Hopefully this will give it to me. I'm on a brow volution. Uh, I have pretty full brows, as you can see. I just have a clear brow gel through it today, the ColourPop one. And I've been paying attention to my brows a little bit more recently. And so I noticed some sparse spots and I was like, oh, I could fill that in with a powder, I guess. I don't have a powder. I, I definitely don't have a brow pen or pencil. So I went looking. Of course I was sucked in by Kosas because... This thing is gorgeous. I got medium brown, which seemed like it would be a good match for me. 
god this thing is so pretty so of course it has the spoolie on the end and um, it's that like it's like a small triangle which I appreciate because I would like some precision if I want but also to really just get it in there if I need to so there's the color you can see it next to my brows let's pray and then to go with it I got two clear brow gels Listen, when I first made my order, the Kosas Clear Brow Gel was on, was it sold out? And so I was like, no, I wanted to try that. And um, I couldn't. So I was like, okay, well, I've tried the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel in the past. Let's just get a mini. I'll wait until the Kosas one comes back into stock, and then I'll grab that, thinking it would be in a few months. I made my first order. And the next day I got an email that this one was back in stock. So I made a cheeky second order, no regrets. So I was worried when they came in because these boxes are the same size, but this is full size and this is a mini. Luckily this one is 2.5 mil and this one is four or four grams. Okay, this is 0 0.085 fluid ounces and this is point one three I can't do that math this is smaller though we've got this guy like I've said I've used it before it's pretty great um, we'll use it up maybe I'll throw it in with my travel minis but this is the star of the show of course oh my God. these are my first two Kosas products these two uh, eyebrow things so I'm very excited to try them out um, I very much like color, if you couldn't tell. So this is going to be fabulous. Okay, we've got three more non-lip item things and then three lip item things. We have one Danessa Myricks um, Color Fix Foils. Um, again, I saw Amanda Zed talking about Milky Way and I just had to try it. I am a sucker for some glitter, and uh, this just looked absolutely amazing. And then I got two Rare Beauty things. I got the Soft Pinch Matte Liquid Blush in Bliss. I actually have a mini of this that I have used up, so I thought, let's go for it. It's my perfect everyday, don't want to go too pink, don't want to go too orange, don't want to go too red like perfect blush so I thought definitely worth a full-size purchase and then I wanted to try a, uh, a liquid eyeshadow I, I wasn't looking for rare beauty I definitely was looking around at other kinds of liquid shadows I have a lot of liquid shadows that are sparkly because I love sparkle but I also occasionally love doing a full matte eye um, especially one that's in that mauve dusty rose kind of vein so i got the shade nearly mauve and this is what it looks like is it mauve i don't think it's nearly mauve enough but it's a beautiful color nonetheless so i'm excited to use it let me swatch so there it is i think of mauve as being a little bit more purpley like, it's, maybe it's just on my skin tone, but it's definitely pulling that more dusty rose. Again, I am okay with this color. It's just not what I thought I was getting, especially based off the swatches on the models on the website. So, go figure there. Okay, and lastly, lips. None of these are particularly pigmented, I'll be honest. Again, wearing under masks. Um, I, let's start with the Hyalonic Happy Kiss Color Balm. Um in Pillow Talk. Another Amanda Zed wreck? I don't know. Apparently I am just feeling those vibes these days. Um, so here it is. I agree with a lot of people that this particular packaging does not feel as luxe as some of the other packaging because, you know, this is plastic and this is plastic. Be warned. This clicks up, but does not click down. I will always forget. I have a Pillow Talk lip liner. Um, it's not like a wow color to me. I think it's pretty, but I haven't invested in like 
the whole shade range like for like all the products that are in that colorway. Charlotte Tilbury for me is always expensive and not always worth it so um, I'm excited to try this one. We'll see how it goes. And lastly my guilty pleasure Dior lip products. Do I own anything else Dior? No. But will I buy lip products? Yes. The Dior Addict Lip Glow is a full coverage podcast rec from Lindsay Kelk. I know that she's obsessed with like the original color. Uh, I have almost used a full one of those up and I have another um, another color that's like a rosewood maybe is the name. And that one I put on when I don't know what to wear before I am heading out the door. This time I got the Dior Lip Glow in cherry because I love a red lip but it's been so hard to wear red lips during this pandemic this is not the world's problem it is a me problem um so I thought let's get it in a lip balm and we can wear red more it's this beautiful like cherry red um it is just a tint so it's really just gonna tint your lips red but I'm excited to play with this nonetheless I'm not, I like the pink, but these balls on the end of the Dior lip products, I, they're fine. And then last but not least, the Dior Addict Lip Glow Oil. I don't have a lot of lip oils. It's not like a thing that I really go to, but I do have a thing for raspberry. In my hair, in my mouth, I love raspberry. So this is in shade raspberry. Uh, and I was like, treat yourself. So I got this in raspberry. Uh, truth be told, it has basically no color. Um, it's like the tiniest bit pink. It's it's right there. It, you can't see anything, I know. It's so expensive. And it's clear. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, that was everything in my Sephora VIB sale haul. Um, a little bit for me, or a lot of bit for me little bit from my best friend, a little bit of freebies. Very excited to play around with all the things that I got and uh, maybe I will do a review video once I have had a chance to play with all the things. Um, I'm very excited and my bank account is very sad. Please give a like or subscribe if you are interested in seeing more and I will see you another time. Bye.